Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alice Rita. To all my retaining subscribers, thank you for coming back. I'm always glad that you guys come back to watch my video. And if you are new to my channel, you are fully welcome. I'm glad you stopped by to watch today's tutorial. Please remember to click the subscribe button and leave your comment in the comment section. So for my today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to solve the problem with the scale bar not showing on TIFF format image. So I'm sure some of you as, as at one point observed that when you save your microscope image that you've already had the scale bar on, when you save it with the TIFF format that the scale bar do not show when you then open the image later on. I've had this problem and that is why today I'm going to be providing you with the solution that works for me. And here I have my microscope image opened. This is the spore of Magnapote. And this sample has the green fluorescence channel and the red fluorescence channel. So what I'm going to do is first split this image, this, the three channel into separate channel. And to do this, I'm going to go to image, color, split channels and after splitting what this what this has done is to put the three different channels as a simple as a separate image yes. and now i'm going to be combining the three together and i'll just go to color and click on match channel i'm going to select the red one is the c2 the green one is the c1 i have no blue image and my gray image is the C3. And I'll be ticking to keep the source image so that it doesn't just match the three ch channels together and then close the three windows. So now I have my matched channel, my matched image. This is the overlay of the three different channel. So what I'm going to do next is to add a scale bar. In my last tutorial, I already showed how to add a scale bar to image. But we'll just quickly rush through this by going to Analyze, Tools, Scale Bar, and click OK. And I'm going to add the same scale bar to the overlay image and every opened image is here. So when you save this sample as TIFF, I'm going to save this to my desktop and click OK. I will repeat the same process for all the images and I'm, press, I'm pressing command R on my keyboard to repeat the command. That way I didn't have to be going to file save as several times. So when we go to the saved samples, if I click on this, can you see that my scale bar is not displaying on the display window? And when I click on this to open, you can see that the scale bar is not displaying when you save as TIFF. Similarly, the merged sample is showing as gray color instead of as merged with the different color and the scale bar also not showing. Interestingly, when I drag this to image J, you can see that image J is able to display the whole information. So why is image J doing this to us? When this happened to me, I knew that I needed to find a solution and that solution I'm going to share with you. First, before I share the solution with you, if you save this image as JPEG, I'm going to save this as JPEG and save it as testing. And when I go to the folder again, you can see that the sample that we save as testing is showing the way it should be displayed with the TIFF image. And also if you look at the file size, the JPEG image has a lower file size. You can see 165 kilobytes. And the TIFF image is displaying as three megabytes. Okay, don't worry. Now I'm going to quickly show you the solution as promised. So to rectify the problem of the scale bar disappearing after saving as TIFF, you have to go to image overlay and click on flatten can you see that when i click on flatten it's image combined every information on the image into a single file into a single image so the sample that was showing as composite 
with the different channel showing separately when we click to open from this earlier saved version is now saved as a single image has then combined this information together to give us a single representative image similarly i will do the same thing for the fluorescence image by going to image overlay flatten you see it also created another image i'm going to close the previous one press ctrl r to image overlay flatten and i'm going to press ctrl r for the green one close this and close that one so now i'm going to save this as new sets and i think i'll save them as abc so that we can save them as tiff so the first one i'll save as a save the second as b save the third as c the last one as d okay d. save as tiff just change that to d so now when i go to the file folder the folder where i save the images when i click on d you can see that now it's showing as a it's showing the scale bar and it's also showing the green color previously it was not showing the color and it was not showing the scale bar so that is how you solve the problem with image j not showing the scale bar on tiff image you can see compared to the previous it's just an extra step and this did not decrease the quality you can see this composite this one you can see it's 1.5 megabytes and previously it was around 3 k megabytes and that's because it saves each of the three different images as a vectored image and the jpeg you can still see that it has the lowest file size so it's always good to save your microscope images with uh, as tiff it took me also time to figure this out but when this was not working i was just using my jpeg format but now that i'm preparing my figures i realized that i needed a higher resolution image and that's why now i use tiff and if you want even a higher resolution apart from the rgb because if you go to type you can see that we have just here a 8-bit image 16 bits 32 bits and rgb color if you want an image that is of bigger resolution of a bigger file size because the bigger the file size sometimes the bigger the resolution you can use plugins to save the image so i'm going to be saving this image here by going to plugins input output save as 48 bit rgb this is even a bit bigger than the regular 32 bit then i click ok and i'm going to make it abc and then i'll click on save if i go to the folder again this is the newly saved image you can see it's 3.1 megabyte megabyte in size just as the previous one that didn't show the scale bar so the previous one that didn't show the scale bar and the new one so you can see that the difference is so clear so i hope you i hope you found today's tutorial very useful please remember to subscribe you subscribing encourages me to produce the next set of tutorial and i'll see you in my next video don't forget to leave in the comment section if you need any help bye